Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys kind of like the new age of playing weapons on Vanessa. Now we did have a little bit of uh, some nerfs recently. We no longer have Iron Sharpens Iron, which was one of the best skills to utilize this. But honestly, I haven't really had it affect my weapon-based runs. My weapon Vanessa runs have pretty much just smashed everyone completely. I think I'm like... I am guessing, but I think I'm like 30, 30 wins and 2 losses in my last 3 weapon Vanessas. I typically don't play this build because I feel it is pretty similar to one another each time you play it. I like to kind of try the other stuff that's a bit more hipster. You know, hipster builds are a bit more fun for me right now. But I want to show you guys kind of how this works, how I pull it off, and a few of the tricks that I utilize. Generally speaking, you're one going to... Want to kind of pick the weapons that use ammo, uh, which is normally a downside, but it's just the weapons that use ammo are just stronger in basically every single aspect. They do more damage, they have faster cooldowns, they have better synergy, and when you have enough damage, it doesn't actually matter they run out of ammo, especially now that the number of pig players went from like 80% of the field to about 15%. So yes, you might have a match against a pig that has like 40,000 life and you could expel every single bullet and not even scratch the surface of his health pool. But those those encounters are far rarer than they used to be. Now that's why this build is actually taken off quite a bit. Generally speaking, I do like to use and stack one of the early ammo items. I usually go with either a focus on the dagger or the double barrel. The dagger as of this video anyway, is still bugged. It's still ignoring the internal cooldown. So I think it is a little bit unethical if you're going to use two daggers because you can bounce them and have like infinity damage still. The devs have identified that. That is a, just a temporary bug that will be fixed when they are able to. So how do I make it work? Well, just having a lot of weapons, having a lot of bursts does a lot. The other thing is I usually actually go to skill vendors a little bit more often. If you've seen me play Bazaar on stream, and I do stream on YouTube, thank you for watching us there. Um, if you've seen me play, I usually don't go to the skill vendors until like day seven, sometimes until day eight. And the reason is that when you get a skill, you really want the good version of it. It's not really like an item. If you get an item, you can just buff its stats. You can, if it's like an, if it's just like a sword or something, it's just damage. You can buff its damage later with other stuff, right? If it doesn't matter that much that it's bronze, maybe you upgrade it later. Maybe you don't. It's not the end of the world. Now, if you buy a skill off a vendor that is a low tier, like if you get a bronze skill, like let's say the, the, you, you want a really good skill and it has the full tiers. Some skills start at like 12 gold, but some start at 3 gold. Let's say it's a really good skill that you want, you get it at 3 gold, and the next time you see that skill, it's on like day 8. On day 8, it probably would be the 12 gold version, but because you have the 3 gold version, it will usually only be offered the version that you have to double into the next tier. So instead of getting the 12 gold version for your 3 gold skill, you'll be offered the 3 gold skill again, which would combine to become the silver skill. Then you'd have to find the skill again, it would be forced silver, then it would be the gold skill. So that's why people generally go to the skill vendors later on through the days, through any run they're playing in the bazaar. Now this does change actually a little bit when you're playing mass weapons, and I think this is maybe the missing ingredient that most people who pursue this build aren't getting quite right. So why are lower skills good with weapons? They're pretty good because when you're playing these type of ammo weapon builds, you're expecting the fights to last like four seconds maybe five. So when you're talking about especially some of the skills that involve one-time freeze, like the first time you crit, the first time you use haste or something like that, those type of skills, they're actually perfectly fine at low tier because while most builds having a higher duration on those can be a big asset. For a build that aims to kill the opponent in four seconds, it doesn't actually matter if you have the lowest grade of some of these freeze skills that are typically three to four seconds. 
that's going to be the whole fight a lot of the time. The other aspect is with Iron Sharpens Iron gone, getting some kind of combat scaling through uh, skills on your weapons, even if it's a low version of the skill, can be a pretty big difference. Like there, the Iron Sharpens Iron is gone, but the skill that gives you like percent chance to crit at the start of each combat permanently to your weapons that one is still there and that one can give you crit cap just from that skill if you get a really bad tier it can be fine if you get it early enough there's some skills that allow you to scale weapons from buying weapons from the vendor as well and again you're going to be visiting more vendors early than you are in the late game because in the late game you're generally going to go to the skill vendor options so something to think about and i give you guys a pretty good example to see enjoy Are there no upgrades on level up permanent? I don't know. Double barrel or cannon? I like cannon, honestly. You can play it the whole game. You can transition into port or you can actually do solo, solo cannon. The sword? Screw the sword, dude. Double barrel? I just do double barrel. Damn, we got the fire passive. And we got no weapon passive. Oh my god. <sighs> the 15 crit is worthless. I think I actually take the fire passive anyway. And see if I'm going to land a fire item. Any good fights lately? Oh, I snoop all teachers. Still. Go make some more stories. I mean, if I'm going to run out of ammo, I'd rather do more damage for now, right? Why is 15% bad? It's bad. It's over already. We barely got our flags up. And I think the cannon is actually better than those even, right? It's 11 burn, and then it's 14 burn. 14 burn is 14 times 7.5. It's over 100. So yeah, this is this is the best, the best setup actually. If I got the silver cannon at the start, it would have been a golden upgrade and not show up. On day one, I think it would not have shown up. Does not defeat me. On day two, it would have been upgrade. I think you cannot get silver on day one, unless it's off the silver vendor or a highly specialized one. Damn, that's actually kind of a lot of damage here. Ten damage, five crit. I'm gonna do that. It kind of sucks to lose out, but it's just so much damage. Strange mushroom, okay, fine. That's good, and I'm gonna go with the narwhal so I have a friend. Ammo, still nothing. That's a tough one. I'm not, I'm not really in the harpoon zone. I really need the level. Multicast 2, so that's 20. I don't know if I actually kill the rogue scrapper before I run out of ammo. He has 550 health, I think. Fine. Yeah, he heals for 60, but his damage is bad, so... I did that because I really needed a level for, like, space. Another empty chest waiting 
Oh, we got the weapon thing again. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Maybe we play weapons, yeah. And I have the fire passive, but the... I mean, I would have picked a weapon passive if I got one, I just didn't get one. I see the level is so significant here. The lighter doesn't get the crit. It looks like it's it's actually weapons only. Non weapons on three. I think we kind of want like a docks thing. I think the snapper beats the lighter, right? Yeah, by a lot actually. Fine, let's roll. Harpoon, that's no good. Ammo items, okay. Another cannon, okay. The quicker the fight. Alright, so let's say I have more slots. Do I use the lighter? Probably not. I think the bolus is really good though. Do I just like grab double ammo? The revolver is kind of behind. I think the bolus might be fine though. Man, the scout trooper is going to be pretty rough. He's got like 750 health and he hits really hard. But I hit really hard. You think I beat it easy? I don't know about that. But I'm curious. I rarely have this little health or this much damage at this point in the game. I, I just, just didn't know how to gauge it. Uzi. Crit or four damage. Four damage is not a lot. But I guess as a percentage, it is a lot. Ammo item? That can be garbage. I'm gonna go for damage. Crit skills has that like bloodthirst thing. Bloodhound. Which is crazy early. You should know. I'm a You're gonna go splat. One item went off. Land legs make you predictable. You move in straight line. A feature where you can see people play against your ghost? I mean, that would be pretty sweet, but no, I don't think they have that right now. I keep getting that XP option. You're huge. Do you have any but Ness's amulet. Silver is not bad. I think it probably beats the switchblade at this point. No port? I, mean, I didn't get port. I think we just blast the virus too. to be filled. Leftmost 16 damage or friend loot. I'm thinking friend loot. I'm gonna go friend loot. Okay, silver skills can be really good. Uh, they're not terrible. I got docks, but I don't actually have a docks item. Crow's Nest. Hmm. 
I don't think so. Holster is pretty playable, though. Happy to make a sale. Sad to say goodbye. I cannot drop the double barrel. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not in the holster. I have two at two item generation. Yeah. I think the main avenue here is going to be like a repeater, and then we just try to buff weapons as much as possible. Like my crew says at the bar, another round. All cannon. No Thoughts on the game so far? I've been quite happy. Okay, we got Goldie here, which means we can actually go on an item to Diamond, because we actually get the Force level up next round, which is crazy. We got a Wanted poster. Bottled Lightning. Kind of like a mini cannon. Do we go poster? Yep, it's poster. <laughs> now this will inspire the crew. Oh, bro. Curse of the poster incoming. No, 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 no. I'm sure it's fine. Poster's got 30 crit. We invested heavily in it, so. Medium items. I think we do that because we need a dox item too. No dox item, no good item. Rip. Weapons. Don't think that's good enough. Oh, that is most certainly good enough. Wow, 45 damage is how much you get. That's a crazy amount. I may be young or a captain, okay. I'm so loud, calm down. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, he beat Infernal? With that? No way. Maybe he got a monster skill. Yeah, I think he has a silver version of that. You fall like a boulder. I know the ways. Make deals, not war. I go EXP plus one ammo. I want friend loot, I think. Okay, I think I'm done with the lighter. Ten, five. Okay, I'm gonna do friend loot. Wow, a snowflake already? Holy crap. Uh, I think I don't do 2,700 damage, though. Like, I just I just don't do that much damage total. I do, like, 2,000 right now. Betty, as spine 
harmless as a jellyfish. Talks again, man. What? Killing me here. I went for every single chance at a docks item on a vendor, and I, I keep getting docks, and I don't have the item. Shield. Let's go for Some tools. Maybe I'll still get one this way. Make the things they fix things with. Yeah, eight gold though. That ain't cheap. You'll be surprised when that comes in handy. We're out to deep no large item for port. I don't really like port no with the full weapon build. You should know. I'm a bit I think I'd legend. just rather play more weapons. Bring her about! I've got another salvo with me. Brave now I'll stop getting docks. Yeah, that's usually how that works. I'm actually going to do gumballs because my damage is kind of lacking. Poster gain crit? No, no, no. That crit chance is only for the active items themselves. Any good fights lately? Oh, I do miss it. I hope you live long enough to reconsider. I'm gonna go for the rock for speed. There's also the haste on crit skill, which is outrageously good. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the PoE2 stream. damage. Docks, XP, small items. I'm gonna hit the double barrel with that. Let's do, okay. Drops enabled. Uh, for PoE stuff, I imagine I have drops enabled. Whatever, whatever everyone else has, yeah. Oh yeah, the beast rework for battlegrounds. Uh, we'll see. I can't say I'm particularly crazy about it. That's a really good one though. Maybe we maybe we don't do the the pop snappers anymore. It's probably worth taking holsters. Yeah, and I have the friend. The beast rework was just like m m still just play tokens. It's like not that much. It's not like a thematic rework, right? What the hell? What? All cannon, no ball. The keener the blade, the quicker the fight. Oh, it's only five more crit chance? Oh, that kind of sucks. I want the burn freeze, so I'm gonna use cannon. Yeah, that's fine. It's just a silver medallion. Yeah, but it is a weapon himself. It's an active, it can crit, it can be frozen, while my other stuff is not frozen. It's way, way better for that reason. Yeah, I have a lot of the effects that I need, but I don't have just the raw damage, so the, the gumballs are kind of keeping me in this until I get a good skill. It's over already. We 
barely got off lag. We use an aquatic crit. I don't have aquatic. I'll just do more crit scaling, I guess. Yeah, we'll do 12 damage over XP, I guess. Welcome Medium in. could Welcome have... We have repeater, yeah. I used to offer I don't know if that's worth running. But, people thought it was weird. but I can keep it in my, in my stash so it receives buffs and stuff as I level. I think it's not Ahead. worth running right now. Because the, the burn's actually quite a bit. Most of my skills have to do with doing burn damage or activating burn. This guy's half my life, though. Literally life difference. Thanks, poster. More burn skills? I literally don't need a single other burn skill. Wait, that's not true. There's like a use left item burn skill that will let me drop the cannon, right? I think there is. Or use a friend burn. Okay. When you use your leftmost burn too. Okay, so now I actually don't need the cannon to, to get the freeze effect. How do you hugelings use things? Plus three ammo is kind of ridiculous. Don't want to lose health right here. Leftmost 14 is not that much. I think we go level up. No more docks on 9. Weapons. No weapons. Freeze skills, though. Crit freeze. We'll do crit freeze. I think we're doing ammo on the dagger now. There's another Diablo dev chat today. Pufferfish. I don't think he's gonna make it. Next Two time, life. Boys, Two. Less blunder, more plunder. Land legs make you predictable. You move in straight lines. This world is full of noise. Haste freeze. Kind of like haste freeze. It's right at the start. Slow freeze. That's the bolus. That works too. Okay, let's see if I can beat this guy. I think I can. Because I have a, a lot of ammo now. Not looking good. Oh my god, he killed that item first? Okay, I lose. That's literally like all my damage at the end there. I think I could have finished it if it didn't kill literally that item. Literally that item. I think I would have finished. I might need to cut back on the ground. Uh, the ammo on the dagger was bugged. It, it 
It didn't have ammo left. I don't have a reload mechanic. I've gotten like three burn skill guys and barely anything else for skill guys. But like, it's only day 10. We're so over leveled for day 10 that we might just like cruise control the 10 0 on this. Like, the temp damage is pretty big. We have huge freeze on start on uh, start of combat, and we have like ridiculous damage in the first like five seconds. And it's like pufferfish build still, so it's like not not even a chance. The guy has zero poison on me right now. Zero, zero poison. Nothing. Just absolutely blasted. Poster MVP. I wasn't even I wasn't even playing weapons at the start. We we started with the burn passive. Nerf everything. <laughs> Thirty two ranks gained for that? Jesus. Oh, and we get ten chests. More Ungabunga, please, you don't want nerf. 